In today's video, I am preparing you for a multi-week trip across the country doing off-roading, following like 1930s motorcycles traveling the country, and also doing some camping with the beautiful, what are you doing there, Ashley? Getting drunk, smelling your coffee beans. <laughs> Y'all remember I did the K River coffee. That's right, that's the bear from the coffee. It still smells like... Uh, it smells like liquor. Ooh. Whiskey, bourbon. Still smells like Hocha Town in there. One of the things I absolutely love about... Where are you? Look at him hiding over here. Come here, Scooter. Say hi to everybody in there. One thing I love about doing the off-roading in the Jeep is that I get to take my pal Scooter with me because I can control the climate, right? It's a beautiful thing. We're preparing for a trip, and here's what the trip consists of. I leave in the Jeep tomorrow morning, like 5 a.m., 4.30 a.m. I head to Missouri, where I spend a week on the road following the chase. And if y'all don't know what the chase is, it's pretty cool. It's like 1930s and 40s motorcycles traveling the country. It's like a 1,200 mile ride where you only go by roll charts. It's like, you know, it's a roll chart. You roll up four, it says, in 1.4 miles, take a left here. Like no GPS, no phones, none of that. And correct me if I'm wrong, but those bikes don't go very fast, do they? Yeah, they're like, you're talking 40 miles an hour on some of these bikes from what I understand. And here's the deal, no support crews. You gotta carry everything you need to keep that bike running and to take care of yourself for the entire trip. It's like five days, it's like 250 miles a day is what it comes out to be. You're maybe almost 300 in some days. Across Missouri, the Ozarks, it's the chase, it's like a mini cannonball. I would definitely need a team. I, I don't think I could do, I don't know enough about working on old motorcycles to keep the bike alive without some support. That's that's the difficult thing about the chase. So I'm gonna film it, I'm gonna bring it to you, we're gonna follow it. The route's actually hidden. It starts in Cape Girardeau, I can tell you that. That's where I'm leaving for in the morning. And since, well, at least we're centrally located at the river, so it's not just a huge... Not too far, yeah, yeah it's like eight hours. So then after the chase is done, Ashley is gonna drive up to me in her Jeep. Yes. And we are gonna do some camping and some dirt biking across Missouri. And some off-roading in the Jeeps. And some Jeep, but you're very scared. She's very I'm scared. I'm a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> she is tough as nails on a motorcycle, but boy, put her in a Jeep on a little bit of a hill. Going into the Walmart parking lot. I mean, it's... <laughs> I get so nervous. She does. It really does. It should be fun. <laughs> we're going to show you our setup, our gear. Today, we're packing, getting ready, and we're just going to show you what we do to get ready for a trip like this. I'll be gone for a total of about a little over two weeks, probably. But we're going to bring you all kinds of cool content, so get ready, strap on. After that, we've got some big trips planned for, for the end of the month as well. Yes, lots of funness coming up. We'll tell you about it later. Tell them where we're sleeping, Rue. None other than on top of your Jeep. A rooftop tent we'll be doing for our camping. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna bring all that with me now. We're gonna get the Jeep outfitted and then we're gonna see what we all pack for a multi-week camping trip. Quick disclaimer, my shop's an absolute mess. I've been working on some really rad projects I'm gonna be telling you guys about over the next 30 days here. So just hang in with me, but I've been working on something really hard and it hasn't been cleaning the shop. Okay, so the tent we are gonna be putting on today is by Centauri Outdoors. They're the tent I had last time, but I gave that tent away to a veteran. Which was super comfortable tent, by the way. Oh, yeah, man, appreciate my freedom, brother. It's a cool lifestyle, man. I think you'll enjoy the people you meet out there. It's a lot of fun, it's good to just get away. Like you said, them stars, right? Yeah. But now I've got a new model that they've got out. We're gonna put it on the Jeep and see how it fits. This is exciting because it's still in the plastic. You think you can tear it off with your hands, baby? I'm gonna try. Let me... Let's see, you're strong. I have faith in you, baby. <laughs> yes. Tear it. Oh, it's like Christmas morning. Now I said it's a hard shell. I think it'd be easier to set up. Let me give you a hand. Okay. Okay, we got it unwrapped. Let's put it on. Okay, I got the tools I believe I need right here. Let's get us some airflow in here, babe. You wanna hit that big fan? Uh. <laughs> Cools it down fast. Let's get a time lapse. That wasn't too bad for an initial setup. No, not too bad at all. I mean, it looks really good. So I think you just lift it up and it's supposed to just like self-propel. Yeah. <laughs> Come over here and jump up on the tire, little lady. No, come on. Jump up on the tire. Got a girl. You just pull it straight towards me. Jump down on the ground. You should lift right up. Yeah, just like that. And now don't fall. There we go. You just grab that. And whammo. Almost hit the truck. All right, see if you can pull that ladder out. That is nice. Look at that. That is cool, cool, cool. That is a. Centauri Outdoors. And then this side just looks like this. This is 
the nice added feature, you know, because we don't like to put our shoes in there. So oh, the shoe bag. Probably some poles in there for this awning, I would assume. That looks great, man. This is gonna be a wonderful way to camp. If you're gonna be tent camping, that is the way to go. The only problem is, because I keep it below the roof of the truck, I can never use that front window because it runs into the head of the truck there. Those are windows for the winter? Yeah, that way you can still see out, but you know, you're not getting the cold air in. It just filters. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really good. Legit. So you still get the light, but you don't have to have the wind or, or the bugs and stuff. anything. Yeah. Give everybody a tour from in there. Oh, okay. Get a good look at it through this window. Or you can just take it off if you don't want the plastic on there during the summertime. And you got a skylight. We can look at the stars. I like when these tents have things that hang down because you can hang the fans and lights up there. I got LEDs. Oh, that's nice. So it comes with LED lighting all underneath it and in here, so you don't have to have separate lighting. That's super cool. That's going to be separate install because I've only got a couple hours. I gotta be on the road. We got a lot of stuff to pack. Come on, I'll show you all. All right, while Ashley is vacuuming it out, we're good to go. I'll show you my cooking situation here. It's the big gas grill. Got deep burners like this. This is the grill section of it. It just sits over two of those burners. And then the beautiful thing is you can just take this right off and you've got just three burgers. So this is a perfect setup for camping and it packs up as easy as, easy as that, man. They've each got their own carrying bag and then you can take them and stuff them in the back seats or, that's what I usually do. I just, I'll end up folding these seats down here and just laying them across there and I'll stack it up. And next to that, with the dust on it here, look at that. Construction is dirty business. And nearly as important as the cooking is the showering. And this is like a hot water, full shower. You'll see it, we'll put it up in one of the videos, you'll check it out because we're gonna be staying in National Forest. So we're not gonna be using campground showers, which means we need to bring our own. This thing's bad to the boat. Okay, baby, so here we are. She's putting the floor mats back in the Jeep. You got them all clean for me, thank you. Got some Tecron, making sure I'm filling up my gas, keeping my engine clean on my new truck. I absolutely want it to last. So I do everything I can to take care of it right now. Regular oil changes, fuel treatments, everything I can because, well, it's a big investment to go out and share some awesome adventures with y'all. Let me show you what else we're packing. So Ashley's actually gonna be taking her Jeep. She's got a two inch lift going in on it next week and an airbag system, which is the same one I have under my truck. And you can just see it's kind of those red airbags that go into coil springs and I stiffen it up so you can put all kinds of weight. So she'll have a rack on the back of her truck and she will be carrying in the two dirt bikes, my KTM 500 and her KLX 250. The rest of our packing includes some dry bags, a mat to hang out, a little generator, some fuel, fresh water. This will run that shower. Propane, that'll run the grill and the shower. I've got a uh, bucket here that I put a lot of the small stuff in, can slide it under the tonneau cover of my bed. My motorcycle gear, leveling blocks so that we can camp and sleep level in our tent. The kitchen, it's got a sink, table, everything you need for cooking and setting up. I'll show you all that later. All our motorcycle gear, my off-road helmet. I think I'm gonna take the small Yeti instead of my big cooler because Ashley, has got something new in her truck. Yes. Why do I only need a small cooler, baby? Uh, because I have one of those car refrigerators coming in, a 55 quart that's gonna hook up in the back of my Jeep. Ooh, we're gonna have fresh meat and vegetables. It's gonna be, we're foodies. Okay, y'all, in case you didn't know, we are foodies. My Teton sleeping bag, I love that sleeping bag. Extra blankets, an extra tent a hammock. These are great for torquing. In case you gotta torque anything, I bring a big impact gun. This little light thing is pretty awesome. The individual lights come off too that you can magnetize, hang. You can hang them up on something if you want to, or you can use them as a flashlight. A razor, because I shaved my head. A couple more dry bags, some towels, bear mace, a yoga mat. I'm just trying to do some more stretching, be a little bit more healthy lately. I've been losing some weight, doing some intermittent fasting. It's been working pretty good. I'm just trying to follow that up with a healthier lifestyle. So chairs are something Ashley and I disagree on. It's true. She likes chairs, big old chairs like this. That are comfortable. And I like little compact chairs like that. If we were just on motorcycles, I would totally agree with you on that. But they are such a pain to try to break down. I don't think it's that bad. I think they use so much less space. I'm just such a space saver. I always want to pack as tight as I can. This is my Pelican cape inside there. I got tow ropes, tow straps, duct tape, just basically all my recovery gear. The hardest part is the 
part of packing. How do you fold a fitted sheet? You don't, you just bunch it up in a little ball and then just stuff it in the bottom of whatever you can fit in. Underneath the water, this is just dry goods. Let's take a look. So it's just an extra sink or bowl, some plates, collapsible pots and pans, plastic ware, olive oil, dish soap, sponges, coffee maker, that's essential. This thing's bad to the bone to put hot water in there and grounds and press it through. Grilling utensils, this is an essentials bin. Okay, y'all, we've been packing this truck for, I don't know, how long, baby? Okay. <laughs> we've been working on getting it ready for me to leave all day. What time is it now? What do you think? Gosh, probably seven seven o'clock but look at the truck and look at the difference it is ready for an off-road adventure and there you have it you open it up voila <laughs> packed to the gills so we got the generator and the fuel for easy access the propane for easy access and then we are just packed packed in from there all the essentials everything we need you want to do the honors sure. the official pack everybody always wants to know how i pack here we are that's how you pack really tight <laughs> so that is uh that is everything we need packed into the back, both sides. That is the pack. You can see it's well lit because we got those clear panoramic Jeep rooftops, which are just amazing. All right, that's it. On the other side, I'll have my computer and my gear in the passenger seat, some clothes. Other than that, I'm good. Oh, I almost forgot. For the bikes and for the truck. Always room for tech run. There we go. In case y'all didn't know, Tecron, I've been working with them for a while now and it's been amazing because I've got so many different machines and I don't get to run all of them all the time and they help me make sure the engines are always in shape. It's a great relationship, I'm happy to have it. This is Ashley's Jeep, she just got some new 35s put on it. What'd you put on there, baby? Uh, I've got some Toyos, uh, Open Country RTs. Yep. So my vehicle, I drive 45 minutes to work, so I wanted something that was good in the mud as well as silent on the highway, and this is what came highly recommended. So she's gonna get that little lift, she's gonna load her Jeep down, and we're gonna put these two girls off to test. Mine are 39 BFGs, in case you guys were wondering. Man, I can't wait to sleep up on top of that thing. I know. I think this is where we say goodbye, my love. You got anything you want to tell them? Maybe dream until your dreams come true. This trip is a dream. It is. I'm so excited. Ah, it's going to be fun, guys. Dirt bikes, Jeeps, and old classic motorcycle touring across the country. What more can you ask for? It's going to be an awesome two weeks. Stay tuned to my channel if you have not yet. Hit that subscribe because uh, lots of action coming over the next couple months. Yes, lots of fun is going on. Rest of the year, we're going hard. We're doing some really, really rad stuff. We'll see you tomorrow.